Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 100 of Enter the Gungeon. And I am standing here on the second floor, having just defeated the uh, Amoconda, as you can see. I flawlessed it, fortunately enough. It was pretty easy actually with the, uh, with the, the sling, it went pretty quickly. It only had time to eat one of these uh, turret things. Um, and it went pretty well. As you can see, I have a bunch of items. We have the T-shirt cannon, Hegemony rifle, Phoenix, plague pistol, sling, and the kiln. Uh, kiln I got from the map guy. We also have the Gendromeda strain, which I got from a black chest on this floor, I think. Um, the crutch, which I bought from the shop, and the heart bottle, which I got from the first floor. I also have the first master round as well, as you can see. I've not found any active items yet. Um, so I still have the supply drop, amazingly enough. The hegemony rifle, I realized is actually pretty good. As you can see, it packs a decent punch. It kills a bulletkin on this floor in two shots, even without the Gondromeda strain, um, which is pretty good. Of course, the accuracy is awful, so you need to get up pretty close. Uh, there is the bomb here, but I don't really want that. Um, I'd rather save the money. I'll probably find a, uh, an active item eventually anyway. So, I'm not going to buy that. Um, but yeah, the pretty good run so far. Have a shot, a pretty good shot at making it to bullet hell. Of course, I bought the crutch because of the whoop. Um, Largely because of the hegemony rifle, because I thought that some uh, aim assist would be useful for it. All right, I don't really have a big need for ammo. I guess I'll refill the sling, so I have it ready and fully loaded for the next boss fight. The sling is a really good weapon against bosses specifically. I almost never use it for anything else. You can, you can pop that. Pretty good stuff. Hegemony Rifle is doing a good job. Of... Killing things. I mean, obviously, that's what... Guns do. Ow, okay, that was unfortunate. But... I'm still fine. We have a lot of health. Two master rounds and a heart thing, heart container, I guess you could call them, the items that represent, they're obviously references to Zelda probably. As a lot of things tend to be. Okay, chop is locked, which is evil, stupid gungeon. But I think we, assuming we get another key, we will probably not have to go in there. So, and even if we don't, I'm not sure if it's worth it to risk. Because the key, the shop could have multiple keys for sale. But it could also have no keys for sale. 
So the question is, do we risk... Ow. Do we risk not getting any chests for the remote chance of being able to open two chests? I don't know. It's a tricky question. I think I would not risk it. Seems like a bad idea in general. I suppose it would also depend on what the chests are. Oh, we did get another key. That's nice. Okay, so we don't really need to worry about that. So, probably won't open the shop then. Unless something else happens, I guess. That changes my mind about that. The crutch doesn't always make the shots go in the direction they should. some reason. I guess it... that's what happens when the shot is too wide for it to correct it. Okay, first is a green chest. I do have two keys, but I'm still going to leave that, because it, while mostly you get brown chests from rooms, I'm pretty sure you could get any chests. It's just highly unlikely, so... If we get a locked green chest or better from a room, oh, um, we are going to want to have the keys to open those as well. They could also be unlocked, of course, which has happened a couple of times on this run already. I've gotten a brown chest from a couple of rooms, I think. Okay, I think that is it. So I guess we are opening this. Laser rifle is pretty decent. Could do with some accuracy bonuses for that as well though. So if I found the scope or the laser sight, that'd be great. And then we are also opening this and I think we are not, ooh. Of chest anatomy. Okay, that's not super brilliant, but it's certainly going to be useful if we are forced to destroy any chests. Still haven't found an active item for myself. Ah, dang it. Well... This was not to be the day, I guess. I wonder if the Gundramada strain actually affects bosses or not. Probably not very much. Ah, that's such a shame. I was on track to have the give the uh, ultimate flawless another shot. I don't know its actual name. I forget the name of the achievement. I just know it's there and it's taunting me with its presence and I want to get it. I will get it one day. One day I will have it. Uh, but yeah. I will have to... There will have to be some circumstances line up for me to get that. For instance, I would need to be fortunate enough to get all of the 
master rounds. Obviously, it's kind of a requirement. And as we know, as we've seen, because I've recorded it, and published episodes of it, it can be done. I can do it. I have done it a couple of times. Um, I think a total of three. Ow. Although, I think... I think I only recorded... Have I only recorded one of those? Actually, maybe it was two. I know... I know two for certain. There was... The... One of the recent episodes... Where I, of course, botched it. Um... On the dragon fight. And didn't get the mass round from there, which is incredibly unfortunate. Um, and then there was the last episode where I thought I was recording, but I I wasn't. Um, which was the first time I got close to that. But I also botched it, obviously. I don't think I even beat the dragon then, because... I was even worse then than I am now, so yeah. But I got close, kind of, closer than I had been previously. I don't know how I managed to get all the other master rounds. That was a bit unfortunate. Well, I lost my armor right there. But hey. I wonder how much the Gundromeda strain releases or uh, decreases uh, health in enemies. It's probably not that much, maybe 20% or something. Do we do this for a chance for a chest? Um, probably not yet. Actually, I guess we might as well. Because really, why would I? You can stop that buffing business immediately. Alright. Oh. Table tech rocket. I don't know if I've had this on camera yet. I can't remember. I know I tried recording a couple of runs where I uh, where I got it, but I ended up scrapping those a few of those. I don't don't remember if any of them were published or not. Ooh, okay, that was a bit close. Of course, as we all know, I'm terrible at actually using table text because I don't really tend to use tables all that much. But I... I'll try to use them. Table Tech Rocket is pretty powerful. The problem with tables is that they are very circumstantial and I have a tendency not to rely on circumstantial things um, I prefer getting better at dodging and stepping out of the way of bullets instead because that always works you don't have to rely on situational things or things that you might not 
always have access to. Can't shoot you when you're standing inside of that Reaper guy. Uh, do we have... I guess we'll refill the sling this time. I've only really used the sling and the uh, hegemony rifle. I used the t-shirt cannon on the first floor against the boss because I didn't have... I only had that and the... Um, ow. That and the marine sidearm. Okay, that was a bit messy. It's, I think it's a sign of good game design when the game's primary mechanic doesn't get you out of everything. And this game's primary mechanic is obviously the dodge rolling. Um, but you can't just dodge roll endless, endlessly or blindly and be saved all the time. Sometimes dodge rolling even gets you into trouble. Like right there. I probably should not have dodged that right then. I should have waited a bit, timed that better, and probably dodged in a different direction. Um, and sometimes to dodge certain bullets or certain attacks, you don't need to dodge at all. And sometimes it's better not to. So I only have the one key at the moment. We have two green chests. Um, I am going to open this one. And we get wolf, which is pretty good. Not brilliant, but pretty good. Then I'm going to buy this key so I can open this chest over here before the boss fight, in case it's something extraordinarily useful. Stinger is pretty good, actually. Um, there usually aren't tables in the boss fights, which kind of is a shame. Ow. I was just going to say Flawless would be nice, but then I immediately got hit by a stupid attack. And mostly thanks to Sling, we had almost brought this guy down. Anyway. Well, Sling plus companions. But yeah, so no flawless there. Fortunately, we have quite a bit of health anyway. Um, do we want to reload that? Probably, I guess. It is our primary boss weapon. Uh, the problem with failing to dodge an attack is that you expect being able to dodge it, so you don't use a blank. Blanks are great when you have some situation where you know that I'm not going to be able to dodge all these bullets, so I'll use a blank instead and... Ow. Um, get out of it, get out of it that way. But if you, if you don't think that, if you think, ow, what the heck happened there? If you do think I'm going to be able to dodge 
this like I thought just at the start of that boss fight just now, then you're not going to use a blank, you're going to dodge. And then by the, the time you fail the dodge and get hit, it's too late. You've already gotten hit. And then most of the time you're not going to be fast enough to use that blank before you get hit. Which is what usually happens for me. Not doing super great on health anymore, as you can probably tell. Somehow. Um, free key is nice, more ammo for this is nice. Um, hello. Oh, you're here again. And ended up in a cleared room again, I guess. I don't know if I published that episode either, where I found the arm. Um, ow. So is it in here? Doesn't look like it. I don't know how this is supposed to work. But she she said something the first time at least about finding a way to get it up to the breach I assume she meant. Um, so I don't know how you do that. I I don't know what that I, the symbol looks like an arm. So I assume that is what it is. But the same thing happened last time where that symbol appeared in a room and I went there and I'd already cleared the room so there was nothing in it and I couldn't find the arm. So I thought maybe or I, I still think maybe that the Perhaps the room has to... Really? Two Sheltons in the same room? I don't think that's ever happened before. But yeah, so I think that has to happen where the arm maybe appears in a room that I haven't already cleared. For me to be able to do something. Because when it appears in an empty room, nothing seems to happen. Yeah. So, before I used to basically publish every run in the beginning of the series, every recording I made, I made of a run. Even if I failed, I would put it up. Because I would just start another run. Um, because it was still interesting, I thought. Because I was learning things. But now, I can have a run that goes on for 30 minutes only for me to die on the fourth floor to a bad dodge. Oh. Okay. So we get the floor layout. And it looks like we have a blue and a green chest, obviously. Does this floor not have a secret room? I guess not. Huh. I did not know that. I've assumed all floors had secret rooms. But yeah. So, the problem 
with that is not that I am not letting you see certain runs, because I don't think you're really missing out on anything, obviously, because um, I will, of course, publish the recordings of the runs that that have interesting things in them, where I discover something new or something otherwise interesting happens. Um, but the problem... Oh, that... That's a balloon. What? Oh! Okay. D what? But what's that then? What the heck? I don't know what's going on with that. Also, I don't have a lot of health left. Well, this is an example of such a run. I died on the forge, which is pretty embarrassing. But the run had something new in it, which was the arm thing. But like I was saying, the problem now is that as I record something and I talk about things, and then maybe I scrap that recording, but I can't remember which ones, which things I said in an episode that was actually published. So when I, like I did today, talk about something, I, in my memory, I've already talked about certain things, but I don't know if you've actually heard me talking about those things or not. Um, and I don't really have a good way of tracking that other than publishing every recording and some of them are not worth publishing unfortunately um, so I think the best solution is maybe talking about things twice risking talking about things multiple times uh, as opposed to potentially not talking about something that you may not have heard because I think you have heard it um, I, I don't know. It's uh, tricky, tricky stuff. But we are very close to the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to call it an episode here. Um, we didn't reach our goal, of course, getting to the bullet hell. It was a pretty good run, though. And I died on the forge, which is embarrassing. I didn't flawless the third or fourth boss which is unfortunate as well although since we didn't reach although if I if I had I would have had two extra hearts and then we might have survived this floor as well but hey we got the arm again and we found a balloon and we sent it up a floor I guess so I guess it will appear on the fourth floor in the next run if I get there so yeah um, so that was episode 100 and I'm pretty glad we discovered something new in it um, so maybe we'll get the arm to ox and probably get something so with that I We'll see you in the next episode.